The Ohio, Ohio will be kicking off, kickoff. and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. <laughs> this one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Caught with room to work. The play thing good for only a couple. The offense is trying to get the ball into the hands of the halfback here. And he did a pretty good job of getting a few yards, but the defense was just swarming to the ball right there. A great tackle at the 45. He made a really good move with the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And they make the stop at the 48-yard line. That'll make it second and seven. He's at the 40. And now he's got room to run. He's at the 30, and down he goes at about the 13. guy it doesn't matter how it's drawn up he can make his own play as he goes along that was a nice run and he adds the extra point a five play 74 yard drive and they come away with a touchdown Fred I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense and they can forget about returning this one. Ohio's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. You know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. He's going to try and scramble. He's tackled at the 35-yard line. On the run. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Pretty good gain on the play by the halfback. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. The halfback with a carry. And he's tackled around the 39-yard line. The halfback just couldn't get back to the line of scrimmage. Loss of one. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 39. He's taken down around the 48-yard line. That's how we do, D. That's how Number we do. Number 20 that on the tackle at the 48-yard line. Third down. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. Fourth down. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defense. Alone. He goes out of bounds at the 38-yard line. About four yards on that play. You don't have to throw it deep to have success. Any sort of completion can help boost an offense's confidence. Akron is up a score. Back 
tackle, that releases pickup. And he carried that one for a few yards. You know, when you have a guy that can grab five yards or so consistently, it sure takes some of the pressure off the passing game. Just throws this one away. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 45. On play action, defense coming. He goes downtown. The defender had it and then dropped it. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. down around the 46 yard line it was a well designed and executed pattern but on third down and forever it just wasn't enough let's see if he aims for the sideline and tries to get this thing down deep in their own territory here's the nope they snap into the upback and down he goes at the 47 yard line well they decided to go for it but the defense slammed the door on him that's the definition of coming through when it matters most and while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. And they get nice yardage on that run. handoff makes it to the 24 even if you're pulling for the other team you've got to just admire this guy's speed he is special they'll bring him down around the 15 yard line that's a deep that brings him second and nine That makes it first and goal. 20, 3, 19, 3, 19. Pitches it, he's got the corner. Touchdown, Bob Katz. Great call by the offensive coordinator. Big time play, taking that ball all the way in. Maybe the defense wasn't expecting a run. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he hits the PAT. A five-play, 53-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. That'll make it second and four. Quick throw. Tackle around the 34-yard line. That's good for a gain of three yards. And he just gets rid of it. That's going to bring up fourth down. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. Brought down at the 26-yard line. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. 
Capote. Two times, two times. That'll bring up second and three. Play fake and looking to run. We've played one quarter. We get a tie game at 7 7. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Play fake. Tackle made at the 20 yard line. That makes it first and ten. On the ground, and he won't get back to the line. He knew it was a run all the way. Got a good jump. Once he got there, he wasn't about to let him slip away either. Second down at 12. Ball on the 22-yard line. Throws left. The running back's got it. And he's level at the 16-yard line. Call it a gain of six yards. That'll bring up third and six. Hey, check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Makes the catch and look out. He made the catch, but he didn't get the first down. Yeah, right now, the way this defense is swarming, there's just no room for him to get upfield for the first down. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Ready, check, check. 98 Weasel. They give to the tailback, and they got him for a loss. And they lose possession on down. You know, that was one of those situations where you have to go for it to try to get something going. Now they need a big play here from their defense. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He's to the 20. Makes it out to about the 29. Throws complete. Big loss. Four yards on the play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 25 yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. And it's caught. And they make the stop at about the 25 yard line. Number 31 with the tackle at the 25 yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. Man, that's trash. That's trash. He's chucking. He's chucking. Gets it out quickly. It's going to be fourth and inches after that long pickup on third down. Well, what a throw by the quarterback. Almost equally excellent catch by the receiver, but the defense topped them both by coming up with a stop. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 33-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. On the ground with the tailback. Room around the corner. He makes it to the 35-yard line. That makes it second and eight. And he hits him hard at the 50. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. Check Mike 47. Check Mike 47. Red Hot! He has some room. 
Tries to get around the corner. He gets out to about the 37-yard line. That's good for a gain of 13 yards. First down. Great run here, and he's got nowhere to go. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 41-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quick strike to the receiver. It's on the ground. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. Is left intercepted. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. First and ten, ball on the 45. Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. Well, he tried to thread the needle with that pass. Well, here the quarterback makes a poor decision, throwing into coverage. Needs to look at his progression and find the second and third receiver. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. That makes it first and ten. From the 26 yard line. First down. Got it and brought down immediately. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. 47 Mike, 47 Mike, Mike, 47. Tackled for a loss. And you're an option quarterback. You get used to getting popped pretty quickly. He'll bounce right back up. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Fires back to the tailback, but he can't bring it in. Ohio could take the lead with this field goal. Kicks up, and he got it. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Well, it's always fun to be part of a defensive battle, and that's certainly what we have right now. Yeah, give credit to both of these defenses. I mean, they're playing with a lot of energy, and I think they're doing a nice job up front at the line of scrimmage. And at this point, they're not giving this either of these offenses a chance to make a play. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. This quarterback can make good passes. He just needs to focus on not forcing the ball to his receivers. Defense looking for another sack in the second down and long situation.
charge! Halfback screen, incomplete. It's third down and a long way to go. Ball on the 17-yard line. And down he goes at the 15-yard line. You know, the offensive play calling wasn't clicking on that last drive, and their execution was lacking. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. He makes it out to maybe the 49-yard line. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Ohio is up by three. He wants it all going long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. Points were very hard to come by in those first two quarters. They'll head to the locker room. The Bobcats with a three-point lead. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. One thing has been apparent in this first half that we just saw. Both defensive coordinators a step ahead of their counterparts on offense. They've had the answer for every formation, every shift, every movement, every motion that they've tried to come up with. So, to try to break free and get something moving on offense, might it be time to show a little trickeration? A little trickeration never hurt nobody. I mean, it's it's something that if you keep doing what you've been doing, you're gonna keep getting what you've been getting, and you gotta find a way to do something a little bit different because it wasn't working. Let's find some new plays in that book. Let's, let's run a little bit of option. Let's run us a reverse. Let's run some double passes. How about we bring a blitz with everybody? Just don't even cover anybody. Just bring everybody. Bring the house. You know, try to do something a little bit out of the ordinary. Try to get a spark going for your ball club. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. Very close game now as we start the second half. He just drills this one. And they can forget about returning this one. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? They hand it off. He's taken down at the 40. Ohio has a three-point lead. They hand it off again. Gets to about the 41-yard line. That's a deal of one. That brings up second and nine. Caught out of the open. He's tackled at about the 45. Number 47 on the tackle at the 45-yard line. First down. First down. He's at the 30, and he's tackled at the 18. That makes it first and 10. Nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. He might have a chance. Runs through a defender, and he's in. Well, a quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. And 
Cincinnati converts the extra point. So that's a seven play, 76 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical, really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 17-7. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bobcats continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. That was a really nice play on the ball by the receiver for a substantial gain and a first down. That's good enough for another accurate first down. They'll bring him down at the 47. They didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Just throws this one away. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Mike 38, Mike 38. All right, D, let's go. All right, D. Go, go. And he is drilled at the 41 yard line. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. There's a strike complete, and he's down. There's a strike complete. Brought down at the 24-yard line. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 24. Now they run it left and a nice tackle right there. The 10-yard line. A nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. He fights forward to about the seven. Taken down at about the seven yard line. No game. Not over here. That makes it 37. Not over here. And he tackles him hard at the 18 yard line. That's a loss of 11 yards on the play. That makes it fourth and long. The sack makes this a fourth and very long. And they can make this a one-possession game with this kick right here. It's up, and it's good. Akron is ready to kick it away. Excellent kick. 
And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Akron's not going to back down from anybody, Herbie, I guess, at least not today. No, not today. They've played with a chip on their shoulder. They've stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big boys, and I don't think they're finished yet. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive, and until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Here's the halfback. Tackle made at the 28-yard line. Ohio up seven points. Tackle around the 30 yard line. The running back gets two on the carry. the offense run a route short of the first down. That just baffles me every time I see that. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Brought down at the 34. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He gets out to about the 35-yard line. That's good for a game of one yard. That brings us second and nine. it out to his receiver in a hurry. And they make the stop around the 40-yard line. Quick strike, and he drops it. Hang on tight, folks. We head to the fourth quarter in what could be a shocker. Ohio's lead is a touchdown. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. A score here might effectively end this one. Ohio is up by a touchdown. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Again with the run. Nice run there. He's hit and taken down. There's very good chemistry between these two. They like to run through all their routes before the game. And I have to say, they looked sharp before this one even started. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So we're looking at another third down here. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Go, 
He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here. With things being so tight, your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 39-yard line. Sack. Man, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. So the sack makes this a second and long. Less than three minutes in the game. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. Quick throw, and down he goes at the 40-yard line. Makes the catch, but just not enough for the first. Yeah, they're going to come up a little bit short here. Nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down. Booming kick. From the 15, and he makes it out to about the 27-yard line. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. And he's level at the 36. You can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers. Even when he's a little bit off target, they can pull it in and make something happen. Stays in bounds to make a nice catch. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. First and 10. Ball on the 46. And they hit him in the backfield. The object was to sell the pass and then sneak by the defensive line with the run. The problem here was that the quarterback didn't sell the pass very well. Here's a quick throw. And he's knocked out immediately after the catch. Give to the tailback. He fights forward to about the 29. That makes it second and 10. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Red 18. Red 18. On the ground with the tailback. Sheds a tackler. Good outside run there. This young man is becoming more and more part of this passing game. He does a great job of making guys miss after the catch. This one's in the books. The Bobcats get the win here. 17-10. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.